Ben Clark post game after Stevenson falls 2-1 to Messiah. Joined now by women's soccer coach Graham Miller. And coach, I know you're not a moral victory type. I know that about you. But it's a really good Messiah team. And you played with them. You were even up through 79 minutes. There's got to be some good to take from that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's a performance, you know, like I was, you know, what I was thinking, you know, the first five minutes, you know, we really, we really didn't look well. We kind of gave them, uh, you know, too much respect, a little nervous, um, but now we know what to expect. And, and that's the goal for tonight's game is, you know, all this loss gives to us is all right. We might be traveling on the road in the playoffs. So it's not a big deal. Um, you know, we just, you know, we're not going to win the conference regular season. So now we got to battle for the playoffs. And, you know, to me, that was a, you know, like I said, after that first five minutes, I thought the girls did really well, matched them all over the field. You know, we made eight subs. They only made like, I think five or six and, you know, we kept with them the whole game and, you know, they scored two really nice goals and we got a little bit of luck on ours and, you know, but we'll take it. And I just, I'm really proud of the effort tonight from the girls, especially there's not long rest. You know, we, we, we played Saturday against the number six team, you know, Arcadia 3-2. It was a battle here. Um, you know, we get one day, we get basically get one day off on Sunday and then we had to one, one practice to prepare for Messiah. So, you know, that the, the schedule didn't work in our favor, um, but I think uh, we know, like you said, it was a moral victory and I think we'll be ready for the the next time we play them. I know the positioning of where the last one ended up was not good, but Tiffany McKee, for the most part tonight, was called upon to do a lot, made 10 saves. She made a lot of great saves, and we said it at the half, you know, it could have been 4 nothing in the first 5, 10 minutes. She kept us in the game, so, you know, I'm always proud of Tiffany. You know, she's the one goalkeeper on our team, and, uh, you know, our other goalkeeper's injured, so, you know, she's the one that's at every practice, you know, she has to be. She's in every warm-up, you know, she's she's been our starting goalkeeper, and she's had to fend off some other girls that have came in, and, you know, try to take a starting spot, and she just, she works so hard. She's the kind of player that every coach wants on their team, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of her effort tonight, and you know we can't fault her. You know we got to be better at not letting those crosses come in. Yeah, obviously, when you you know you'll, you face that many shots, some are going to go in at some point. It's Eventually, yeah, you're right. So we just we got to do a better job at uh, you know on their outside forwards where their speed is and not letting them get around us. Uh, three games left in the regular season. You're sitting just two points back of second place right now. You kind of know what what's ahead of you and what you need to do moving forward. Well, that's the goal now. You know the goal is now. Okay, we, I don't think we can get first. Um, you know because I think Messiah's only loss would be to Arcadia if that did happen. So the goal is second, you know, and get home field, you know. So that's the goal, and uh, you know we're going to push it again on Friday. You know, we got to have a short-term memory, like I've talked about, you know, early on the season, and we'll be ready to go. And um, you know, it's all about getting that next win. Coach, best of luck moving forward. Thanks, Glenn.